seems like it all right it's up all right what's up everybody or nobody yet <laughs> um uh, so yeah, uh, I am going to be playing Destiny 2 with Brian. Uh, me and Brian do a podcast together, and today we figured we would try out Destiny 2 on PC because it's it was free over the weekend, which is kind of cool. Um, personally, I was always kind of interested to see how it is on PC just because you can do 60 frames per second, but... Uh, yeah, how about you, Brian? Uh, I've never cared because it's a PC game. Yeah. And I have it on console, but yeah, me too. When they, I was watching uh, BlizzCon opening ceremony on Friday, and they mentioned it during, I think it was the pre-show or something like that, where, I mean, you, there's Forsaken coming out, and then the new content for Forsaken coming out. So yeah, uh, PlayStation gave it away as a PlayStation Plus game a few months ago, so it makes sense that it came out on PC, and I figured, well, why not just check it out really quick to see what it's like on PC, because I've... the only PC games I've played in recent memory are World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy XIV and Minecraft. Yeah, so far, uh, so good. It seems like a pretty decent port. My PC is not the best, but I'm able to run it decently well with some decent graphic settings. Not sure if it looks better than it does on PS4, but the better frame rate does help. Although currently I'm not locked to 60, so maybe I have to lower some stuff, but before it was. Um, one cool thing though is it does have like full HDR support which a lot of PC games don't, but there's more and more games that do, which is cool. Uh, yeah, I haven't noticed any kind of graphical difference. If anything, it looks even a little worse on my computer. Yeah, so I have here. A, I mean, I have a decent gaming PC, but... Or, it's not even a PC, it's a laptop. Yeah, Are, do you have the settings maxed out? And uh, hey, what's up, Alex? I don't even have the settings maxed out. Yeah, mine defaulted to like medium about some settings in high, so I'm just gonna kind of trust them for now. But mo most of the stuff that was put on medium isn't stuff that really matters all that much. It's like draw distance and stuff and I tried to see what it would look like with it all maxed out. It doesn't really even look different. It's that much different, so I'm fine with it how it is. It looks pretty damn good on PS4 Pro, so I'm not sure this looks better, but it does run better. Just like it's a lot smoother at 60. I noticed like right away when I started playing, pretty much. Oh yeah, absolutely. Good. Uh, that's the immediate first thing I noticed too was the frames. I felt like almost made it feel like a completely different game. Not that I necessarily care about that sort of thing in general, but it was cool to see the difference. Yeah, it's just feel. smoother. I mean, the game plays great on console too, but 60 is always smoother. It's better. Not a, it's not a necessity in my opinion, but it is like a cool bonus to have. These Definitely. Times. But, uh, so yeah, I'm a little bit behind where you are. Um, I'm like right at the part where I start getting attacked by wolves. So I got a little catching up to do. But in the meantime, uh, what games have you been playing lately? Uh, a lot of Assassin's Creed, Odyssey, some Soul Calibur, and some Red Dead. Plus Red Dead probably than I should have been playing but yeah still some yeah I hear you um yeah me I've been playing a few different things I actually just finished up my playthrough of Soma 
before we started doing this. Um, also played a little bit of Zelda over last week. A little bit of, of Witcher 3. Um, bunch of Gran Turismo Sport, like usual. They actually just put out a new content update. A bunch of cars in a new track. So that's always cool. Um, and yes, uh, of course, I've also been playing Red Dead. And there's a lot of things I like about it a lot better than the first game. A few things I don't. I feel like it takes itself too seriously at times. Like the no fast travel. The fact that you can get a legendary bear pelt, put it on your horse, then get killed for some dumb reason, and then it's gone forever. I found that to be annoying. And uh, also, the shooting is pretty terrible. It's like if you put it on free aim, to because I just to really I really don't like the fact that it has the lock on aiming. It's really PS2 type stuff. Like Grand Theft Auto had lock on aiming on PS2 because without it, it would have played pretty terribly. And that's pretty much the case with Red Dead. Like you turn off, you put on free aim, and even after tweaking this controller settings, it still is just so far behind any third-person shooter I've ever played that I have a little trouble excusing it and you like everyone else does. Like I just feel like a, a game with this type of budget, this type of praise behind it should play much much better, especially when combat is such a central part of the gameplay, but otherwise I like it. I find the world way easier to get into than Red Dead. Like that was one of the problems I had with the first one was just I couldn't get into the worlds uh, or the story really it, this one complete different it's the best thing about it I think the world feels just so much more dynamic and the story feels so much better I haven't gotten too much into the story yet yeah it um, goes kind of slow I, mean, I spent so much time just exploring the world and having just messing around having fun that it, it, it more than makes it for it I don't for whatever lack of story I've run into so far. I'm uh, there's there's a good amount, it's just that like it doesn't go, like it kind of goes at a snail's pace a bit. But, but there is lots of story, I can tell, like in, I've seen a decent amount. It's just like it... Oh, I'm sure it'll pick you, up pretty You do soon, a lot of mundane right. stuff in between, like as part of the story, so that's maybe... Yeah, it's basically a glorified tutorial in the beginning to kind of get you acclimated to the various mechanics and systems in the game. Yeah, and even after that winter section, there's still uh, lots of um, oh, tutorial yeah. type things after that. I don't know. How, how far, roughly, are you? I'm pretty far. Um, like, I robbed the second chain train I, um and uh, all i've done is i just helped micah oh yeah i did that too That's i mean the early. the missions are kind of open-ended so like you can totally do stuff in completely different order um, somewhat but there you're kind of uh shoehorned into doing spread you know certain things before it opens up a little more so i helped yeah. uh what's her name mary find her kid brother i helped Micah break out of jail in Strawberry, and that's yeah. where I'm at right now. Yeah, I did a couple other things after that. Um, so I'm a little bit farther, but yeah, a lot of it is like just kind of more tutorials, at least at first, but I feel like it's going to pick up, because I am starting to get to the point where there's less uh, like story missions to select from. Um, and so I gotta think right. that the the end of the chapter might be coming soon. Um, but yeah, it's kind of slow going. I think that it's on purpose, and it's good and all, but it does at time get a little bit boring, especially having to spend five minutes to ride back to camp sometimes after a mundane mission. So yeah, it's not the game of the year or even some people are saying it's the game of the generation I just can't I can't understand how anyone could think that but to me it's not even game of the year so far but we'll see I mean 
I, I don't even think the best story ever written could make up for it so far to make it the game of the year, but we'll have to see. Yeah, I haven't played enough to really call it that either. It's good, but its shortcomings don't make up for or aren't enough to overcome. Completely agreed. The good parts, so far at least. The clunkiness, the... Yeah. The clunkiness. <laughs> the clunkiness is a killer. The combat is a little weird sometimes. Um, all of... I don't Do remember... I didn't really read any reviews, but I read one where they said that it almost feels I'm like there's too much real-world chores and I crap you have to do. You have to cut mm -hmm. your hair and manage yourself and yeah. feed people and That's feed yourself cool. and take care of your horse or it'll die and stuff like that and weird micromanaging and it's it can get a little obnoxious at times even though much of it is mostly skippable and optional some of it doesn't really feel like that and um i will be right back though okay yeah all right all right so hey what's up christine I think Brian's taking a break. He might have uh, one of the little ones just woke up or something like that. But uh, yeah, um, I do have some catching up to do with him in Destiny because I was hoping when we got to this farm that he could invite me and we could do a fire team to go do some missions together. But apparently, we're going to have to go separate for at least a couple minutes. For me, at least. And living outside the city half my life. Wait, why does it want me to go to her if I can't do anything? Oh. Can can I help you? Oh maybe it's this. Here we go. Here's the director. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Wait, but I'm already on the farm. Oh here we go. This is what I need to go to. There we go. You're in charge now. All right. How did I let you talk me into this? <laughs> I didn't read Alex's last message till now. That's funny. I don't understand this whole thing. Like sober october no not november like if you if you really need to like celebrate the fact that you didn't get drunk for one month i i don't know i think you got a problem a lot bigger than you realize like if like if i i wouldn't choose october to begin with just because oktoberfest and well, also, at least for me, like, there was UFC fights that I had to get drunk for, so, um, I wouldn't have picked our, but any other month, I could easily go sober. It's not, like, something to celebrate. You should just be able to do it in general. I don't know. It's dumb. I don't know what the, when, where this whole trend started. I know Joe Rogan was doing it, but I don't think he started it, but it's just weird. Because it's been going on at least since last year, I don't know what the hell that stuff is all about but whatever people can have fun with that nonsense basically pack it, patting yourself on the back for not getting drunk for one month as if that's like really that difficult I guess actually it is kind of difficult if you go out a lot I mean nobody goes farther than that at least nobody who wants to come back Maybe that's the problem, like, because I, I could go a month without drinking easy, um, as long as I'm not going out. The problem is, is I go out every weekend about, almost. So, the, yeah, I, then, but I've definitely gone months without drinking, I think. Or smoke. I haven't smoked weed in a while. So I've gone several months without doing that. Let me know when you, reach me. you don't see me saying no weed 2018. 
I'm special. I can stop getting fucked up for one uh one month. <laughs> um I do from time to time, yeah. Well, actually, I listen to his podcast a lot. Like, I usually listen to it because I don't have the time to watch it, usually. You're under attack. Uh, the last one I listened to was the one with Joey Diaz, because Joey Diaz is the fucking man. Those things were the fallen. Scavengers from another world. They worship machines. Sometimes Joe pisses me off, though. So I think once I finish this mission, we should be able to party up once he gets back, if he gets back. Oh, I got a new weapon. Let's see. All right, sorry about that. It's all good. Apparently there was a mouse trapped under our trash can. What the hell? That's weird. Into a trash can. Huh. Apparently my are problem here, so not too surprising. Huh. Alright. Well I'm like at the shard, so hopefully I'm not too far away from catching up to you. But um Um, I just did that mission and I'm at the farm again and there's a million people here, so Cool. Are they are we are they all playing soccer? <laughs> Whoa! A bunch of people just gr crawled out of a hole. Yeah, I played the soccer a lot there. Oh, speaking of that, um, Fallout 76 reminded me of Destiny 2 just because in the vault there is that little soccer thing. Only the difference is you can't kick the ball for some dumb reason. Yeah, I hate soccer. Oh, well. Everyone hates soccer. Yeah. Nobody no. follows that shitty sport. No one that matters likes soccer, <laughs> at least, should I say. Yep. Take that, take that Europe. Yeah, a bunch of clowns. We watch real football in America. But yeah, um, so you were saying something earlier about uh, the Vita, top 10 sales for games. Uh, yeah, one of the more interesting articles that came out in the last week or so was like a compiled list of the best top selling Vita games in its lifetime. and. It follows a interesting pattern of the best-selling games are the ones that came out first, even if they weren't very good. And then <laughs> as time went on, the games, no matter how good they were, started selling less and less. For the, I mean, for the most yeah, part. Yeah, that's I mean, you unfortunate. Had, uh, you had Unit 13 at number 10, which was an early release game. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was a later, mid to later release, and it's at the bottom of the list, but you had Persona 4 Golden, which is one of the, the highlights of the system to a lot of people. Um, yeah. At I'm surprised eight. it was that low, yeah. Well, it is kind of a uh, niche type of game, but even still, it's like, the Vita is kind of known for that game, so I'm surprised. 
Yeah, and you had, un, you know, no surprise Uncharted being the number one seller. Uh, not too Ooh. surprising, but still unfortunate. Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified was this number two seller. <laughs> Even though that was... I'm not surprised at all. Like, it was pretty popular online. Like, it's one of the games you could always find people online for. Uh, the number three one was Assassin's Creed Liberation. Number four was Mortal Kombat. Five, Little Big Planet. Six, Need for Speed. Most Wanted, seven, Killzone. Mercenaries, and then Persona. Ultimate Alliance, and uh, our uh, Marvel vs. Capcom and Unit 13. From that order, so. Yeah, it, a lot of articles were saying, and it, it's totally spot on how it follows a pretty particular trend of the games. The weird thing is I'm, I'm wondering why Minecraft isn't in there, because I honestly thought that would have been number one. Take me to the shard. I'm not too surprised. It took a little while for Minecraft to come out on Vita, I think. I think Cause it's because it, it, it's not including digital sales, right? I don't I'm not sure. It must not be because, yeah, there's... I mean, mo most people had to have got Minecraft digitally on V. Actually, I don't even know if there was a retail version. So that could there explain was. it. This there was, okay. We were led here. I still bet most people got it digitally just because it's such a small license. download and, Do you feel and stuff. But, yeah, no, it's... I would bet that that would be the number one seller, even... Even like digital alone, yeah. Um, I'm not really not sure the list do, or the article. Do I don't think the specifies, and they We're do back. mention that for Persona 4 Golden, uh, it only counts for physical guardian. sales only. So, huh. if there was only that one um, distinction for that one game, I'm not sure. Maybe that's why that one's so low on the list, right? Time to shine. Apparently, even on Charter Gold and Abyss did not sell well. Despite it. Isn't it number one? without just briefly looking it up, VG charts it is nowhere near official or Oh, it's from them? Oh, okay. Yeah, because usually it, they... The article's not from them, but their their sales numbers say it sold like half a million in the U.S. and about 700,000 in Europe. That can't be right, because I've heard that it's it sold like a couple million before. So it I must don't... be like missing something. I don't know. It's I'm got Golden sure. Abyss lifetime sales at one point. Because I've heard they call it Duty Declassified sold well over two million on Vita. So I'm, I'm starting to doubt uh, the whole list now. Well, I don't know. the The list is based on. Something else? Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's because, like, um... VG charts does, like, usually only go on what data they can find, which is often, um... What's it called? Uh... Just, uh, retail. So, yeah, no, it's... It's tough to go off them a lot of the times because of that like over the years because digital has become so much bigger like so many more people buy digital now that it's hard to right. judge game sales just based on like something that only tracks uh, physical sales yeah this is this was an NP NPD data so it's somewhat... yeah NBT NPD only does physical too yeah. And they only do, like, North America. 
It's still pretty interesting though to see, you know, the earlier Vita games selling the most and then later Vita games selling less and it just kind of paints paints that I mean obviously it just you know, there's a million digital only indie games that sold really, really well on Vita. Yeah. Of that kept the system alive far longer than it should have been alive for. But yeah. I think the remote play thing helps. Not really. But, um, what's up, Aziz, Mr. Splat? And, uh, Christine wants to know did you try Tetris Effect? That was another game I played over the last week that I I didn't mention before. But, did you happen to try it? Probably not, right? I didn't see you on the leaderboards. Uh, no. It's not a VR game? Yes, it has, yeah, it has a VR mode in it. Oh, that sounds vomit inducing. Not at all, actually. I mean it's it's basically um just Tetris, I mean <laughs> like it, it's not like it doesn't do the craziest stuff with the VR. It's just it's pretty much just like it almost kinda like the cinema mode on VR. You know what I mean, where it just shows you a screen. Obviously, it surrounds you in VR, but it's yeah, no, it's nothing crazy. It it's better in VR, I think, but um, yeah, no, it's not no uh, vomit inducing. It's fun though. Like they did some interesting things to change up the Tetris gameplay that everyone knows. Yeah, I didn't. Honestly, don't really care that much for Tetris anymore. Wait, there's something wrong it. with my voice. You don't, uh, you're not a Tetris guy? I, I played a shit ton of Tetris on Game Boy plenty years ago. 20 something years ago, but. I don't know. It is not. We gotta get the word out that the farm is a My cup of tea anymore. Yeah, I played it a lot on, um. What's it called? Uh, Game Boy Color, actually. You have some plans to talk about? So that's the the one I'm most used to. Like modern Tetris is like very different from like the NES or Game Boy Tetris original Game Boy. Um, like there's a lot of stuff that makes it a lot easier. Like being able to spin your pieces to stop them from like landing and stuff. And like pretty much on the old one, like once it touches down, it's it's stuck there basically. So it's a lot more difficult. Which, in some ways, I guess it's it's kind of good. But like, um, yeah, no, I had fun with the uh, demo. I did my best to get. There's a there's a zone mode where you can get like uh, 16 Tetris or 16 lines or whatever. I can only get 12 in one, but um, at least I beat uh, Yowza. You know Yowza, right? Did you want to talk to me? Yeah, they doubled his high score, so. That was pretty cool, cause he, his high scores on Resogun are just ridiculous, so I wanted revenge. <laughs> but what can I do for you? Oh, oh, okay. He confused my voice with yours. That's why he was like wondering what was wrong with my voice. Oh. But mine is the sexier one. <laughs> um. So I'm I'm in this the farm now and there's a bunch of people around so maybe we'll be able to invite now. I am able to join your fire team, so in theory, yes, we should be able to join a fire team. So I'm going to invite you to my fire team. All right, sounds good. Talk to me. Who the hell is Pro Cyan? That would be me. <laughs> that is my battle.net uh, <laughs> username. Named after right. my very first World of Warcraft character. Sweet. Yeah. Oh. Now I see an invite. Joining fire team. Alright, and then we should be able to just do the next uh, story mission, I think. Yep. 
Load. Nice. And then at some point in the future, we'll probably do the Forsaken stuff. Did you play the um, the first two expansions? I'm in the process of playing the Osiris one. Yeah, are they any I... good? Uh, the Osiris one is not really. No. <laughs> I mean, the locate the the story. I don't even know what's going on. To be honest with you, something about the Vex and there's some new Vex. The locations are beautiful and really awesome. I don't know why I'm in the locations. And the other one is something to do with one of the war mines. I don't really know. I haven't done that one yet. That's next. I kind of want to do them sequ sequentially as they went on. Uh, yeah. Plus I'm level 22 or something like that right now. And you have to be level 30 to do the Forsaken stuff. So I got a little... Oh, shit. Yeah, that's... Time to catch that's up. That's one thing I'm worried about. Because I remember with... Um... The, uh, oh, I see you now. With the, just the regular story, I had, there was a lot of times where I had to do, like, side missions and stuff just to get to a high enough level to, um, do, uh, the next story mission. Because it's like you need, um, to be, like, a certain level yeah. to do some of them. So that was I mean, kind of annoying because I was expecting just to be able to rifle through, but you can't. You do get a boost, so if you want, you can theoretically just boost your character up to level 30. I just, to me, it feels oh, yeah, like a waste. Oh, yeah, that's true. To me, it feels like a waste when I have story stuff that I could do to realistically get experience to just skip 10 levels versus something that I could I could do on one of my other characters to skip, you know, 20 or 30 levels. Is that so, a one-time thing? Like... Because I was th thinking maybe I'll do the other expansions. And then after that, if I'm not already a 30, then I'll use the boost. It is a one-time thing for free. But I think you could buy more if you want. For real money. Or with real oh, money, rather. yeah. I won't do that. Well, I just mean, like, uh, not as in, like, one time per character. I mean, like... You, it's not like one of those things where you have to do it then, right off the bat. Oh no no! I still, like it doesn't I, matter what level you are, basically. Because if like if I'm say at 27, after I finish the other expansions and then want to bump up to 30, I'll still be able to do that. You could. I right, could. That's almost, what I'll do. Like a, it almost feels like a waste to get those three levels out of the boost when you could boost 30 levels on another character. Oh, but that's true. Could, that's true. Well, at that at that point, I'd honestly just run some dungeons and or because uh, uh, I called. actually haven't figured out what class I like the most. I know I don't like the hunter just because I don't like that stupid pistol. But the golden gun pistol. Yeah, you know the one. It's got like three yeah. shots. It kills everything in one shot, but it's still like. Um, <laughs> I don't, I think that's an option once you level it up, but I think the base. Uh, well, that's true. It is like you do have more than one power you can you, use. Uh, the one you start out with for Hunters and Destiny 2 is like a bow that, a shadow bow that you shoot through an enemy and it makes them weaker. Yeah. And does, it, does a bunch of damage and makes them weaker and binds them to the bow and arrow so they can't really run around too much. It's a pretty huh. good ability. I like I like hunters the most for really no other reason except the cloaks are cooler than armbands and little yeah. half skirts. Yeah, like I do the Titan. He's the, I the don't Titan think he's cool. I don't think he's really cool looking, but I do like the powers, I guess. But now or I'm actually trying the warlock. Type. Yeah, I'm trying the warlock now. It's uh, it seems pretty good. Warlocks, from my understanding, are, as they say in the business, uh, class cannons, where they do a bunch of damage, but they can't take a punch. 
hunters oh. are pretty good. They are kind of tricky and are able to bullshit their way into survival pretty decently. And then Titans are the tank types that could take a couple hits. Yeah, that's what I thought it was, but I never noticed like a real big difference. There's not that much of a difference. Just the Titan ones have right. a couple of. Oh, you're already up there, huh? Yeah. I was shooting the guys over here. Like they have a skull next to their name, but they weren't hard to kill. Which I always thought the skull meant they you couldn't kill them or they were too high of a level. Sure. Hmm. I remember in Destiny 1, like in the beta, there were some um, enemies that, like, you know, had the question mark thing and you literally couldn't do damage with them with your weapons. But we figured out there was a certain point they wouldn't walk past because they were in this, like, basement room kind of. So me and my friend kept taking turns, luring them towards us, and the other... Um, I forget the name of them, but there was two of them. One of them had a gun, one of them had a sword and would charge at us. The one shooting the gun would shoot at us and then hit his friends. And, like, it took a while, like an hour, as it, <laughs> like that long. But we managed to get the guy kill his, his friend. And we were hoping he would actually drop something cool, and he dropped absolutely nothing. So it was, like, all just a big waste of time, kind of. And that was only for the beta, too, so it's like it didn't even, uh get us any XP, but we did it anyways. It was kind of dumb. Yeah, seems like those are all about fu fucking around and having fun. Exactly. Alright, so... Do we have somewhere we need to go for the mission? Oh shit. I'm about to Shut go up, down too. I don't be careful. Yeah, skull means we probably shouldn't be messing with them. them. Yeah, they're a little. You can kill them, but they also do a lot of damage, so. It's a little tricky. There's this quest down in the basement over here. Just gotta talk to. Oh, I see you now. Okay. <laughs> gotta go up there and talk to both of them. Oh, do we now. have to scan, like, some symbols? How much, for, uh, right now I'm only getting like 40 frames per second in here, so maybe I should uh, lower some stuff. <laughs> in a lot of the indoor areas, I was getting 60, but here I'm not. Studio. Graphics quality custom. Highest, medium, low, medium, 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 medium. So I'm a medium. There is no means of measuring frames without downloading a third-party app, right? Um, actually, th there is a built-in one on uh, on Destiny 2. I think it's under accessibility. Oh. Just get out of the fire. Oh. oh, damn it! What the hell? Wait, maybe it's not on... Where was it? I know I saw it before somewhere. Oh, it's under gameplay, FPS display. Okay, I put it on 1080 and for some reason it really does not look right. This... Yeah, that's what I thought. Once I... Oh, I could do windowed full screen. That's a good idea. When I was by myself in zones. Perfect. Oh, this the frame rate's open. still awful though. It almost seems well, worse I'm now. I'm at 20. Oh really? <laughs> Damn. PC Master Race. 23, 24. PC oh jeez. Seeing like the the first couple levels, I was doing fine, like 60. I mean, yeah. I guess the good thing is you can limit this game to 30 if you need to, but. Yeah. Well, let's see if maybe turning 
texture quality down a medium. No, restart card. Fuck that noise. It might not, cause that's usually like VRAM dependent. I don't know. I guess it depends on how much your graphics card. But I can tell, like, already that it's my CPU, not my uh, graphics card that's causing this. Which is why I didn't want to uh, use OBS to stream this. I think the, the NVIDIA streaming uses like 0% of the CPU while OBS uses like 12. I guess if I used my other computer to capture it, that could have worked, but I'd rather not. So, you, yeah, you're still messing with the settings. Hell, I might just switch to 30 FPS and then in increase the resolution all the way up. It should run that way, I think. So far, so good. I mean, because sometimes, like, if you put it at 60 and it's jumping up and down, it'll feel worse than 30 at times. It depends though, because it wasn't with this game at least, but it does in a lot of other games. Nah. Yeah, I don't care anywhere near enough. Oh, wait I a guess. second. What? It's saying I have to go up to that, that same guy you already went to. No, you do. I'm Are we lots. in the same f fire team, or...? I can see you. Yeah, I know we can see each other, but I was like, what, shouldn't it like put us in the same mission if you started it well I did start it and then I talked to the guy and then it unlocked the ability to do missions out in the world Here I have no tea to serve. oh okay indeed. so it's not the guy, like the actual story sense. mission it's it's just kind of like an unlock thing all right let's get started there's a banner on the main floor give it a look will you no I serve at the pleasure Stay low and move quietly. Okay, so new. This is a fallen house sigil. I don't recognize it though. Nor I. The fallen seem to have put this up as something hmm. of a threat. I imagine you'll find lots of objects like this out there with a bit of a story to them. Adventure beacon. Both need some supplies to get going out here. See if you find a Where cache of buildings nearby. This is the one now where you scan the symbol. Oh, okay. I remember that. Alright, now it's telling me where I need to go. Good. Very well done. To survive, right, we'll so have to look chest. for every opportunity. Keep your eyes peeled for more supplies in the wilds. Speaking of the wilds, there's a symbol on the wall of the church. Take a look. So used to hitting the touchpad button to uh, bring out the ghost. Devrim, where did this symbol come from? I believe your city hunters on must have put them here in PC there it's the PC it's tab. Or on keyboard it's tab. Well, uh, I'm using a PS4 controller, but it's it's the share button. Or both. Let's go check it out. Yeah. The history of this region is yeah. On PC the share button is I the select button. Caves like the one you're in now. Stretch all Makes across sense. the EDZ. Like most games don't even recognize the touchpad button for some reason. True story. Up until Destiny 2, I always thought that the little flying machine things were called sh sharks, not shanks. Huh. I've misread it for like three years. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't use that weapon. Ooh, upgrade point. Yay. Alright, I'm coming. We'll get that fallen captain. 
Oh yeah, those little flying things. Like the pulse rifles, at least not the slow ones. All right, my weapon of choice has always been the scout rifle. Yeah, some of them are good. Some of them are really good. The thing, like I use a lot of uh, guns like that in um, like multiplayer games too, but it, it just depends how good they are, cause they can suck sometimes. Other times they're the most overpowered thing in the game, but people don't use it because it's not uh, fully automatic. Yeah, and even in Destiny One. I always loved the scout rifles. They just felt the best to me. Because I've always kind of gravitated towards sniping, sort of. But when it comes to sniper rifles, due to the fact that they're really slow and powerful, I didn't... If you missed then it just felt like such a wasted shot, especially since yep. a lot of sniper rifles take a little while to, you know, reload and get that second shot off. Yeah, for sure. With, with the one-shot rifles, they're, you know, they're semi-automatic, so you could just fire them off pretty quickly. Welcome back. Yep, I, I especially like the ones that'll fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. Um, because it's like, I could fire them really quickly once I get used to it. Like, I used to just shred everyone in Black Ops 2 with the FAL. It's, 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 by, it's such an overpowered gun, but it gets away with it because most people don't use it because they're not good at single firing but it's like I got so good at it that it was just like easy mode like because there's like the one gun besides like a noob tube that can counter uh, snipers or people that are just like trying to camp across the map and kill you like w with the FAL it's like you don't even need a sight on it just aim and they're dead like because it has almost no recoil whatsoever was another thing I love about it. I love guns that don't have recoil. So that's another good. Th Some of the uh, scout rifles in Destiny don't have recoil. Some do though. Depends. The one I got on PS4 was really good though. Like really fast. Oh, okay, so only fire team leader may launch. on with this is that the auto aim that's being all weird like that there we go yeah I'm a little bit behind so good. I don't know. PC Master Race. Nope. I don't know. 60 frames. Loading screen, 60 frames. Yeah. Well, it. mine's locked at 30 it. now, but. It's, it, it doesn't feel like a smooth 30, though, so I might, like, just put it back. I guess it depends where you are, though, because, like, those uh, open world zones like that are probably going to be the worst for uh, the frame rate. Even when we went down to the little uh, 
one of the lost sectors. It dropped to, it went up to like 30s, but it wasn't that great. Didn't mean to pull Hyper. out my rocket launcher, but oh well. I don't understand how people can play this on a keyboard and mouse. Just no, I haven't tried it. I mean, it's not terrible, but it is really weird at the same time. It's okay, I guess. I don't know. I'd like I've never liked it. It's it's way less comfortable, but at least with this game, it has a separate you know view invert for the mouse and the gamepad. Because I hate it when games they connect them. So it's like if I do switch the keyboard or mouse, I gotta like go into the menu to invert the aim. I don't know, but. Hey, Dev. Still sitting up here above the mines with his busted comm relay. It's okay, I guess. Where's that signal booster? Keyboard or mouse. Guardian friend is on route. Not well, just some of the control layout and the mapping is weird. Finally, like, it's he admits he's the old. C button to <laughs> melee. Yeah. On one oh, really? Oh, uh, yeah. I would change that. Uh, don't you mean one a week? I don't care enough to. <laughs> is the problem. Is and it would just confuse yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking, old man. And then stuff like... R to reload makes sense, but if you want to switch weapons, it's a little, um... Apostrophe. <laughs> the hell? Oh, yeah, it's got the grenade as Q. That makes no sense at all. Well, then certain powers are F. I'm changing that. <laughs> <laughs> Q should be switch weapon. Switch weapon is a little apostrophe or a uh, little squiggly. Yeah, that's so you dumb. Go. You gotta hold it for your power weapon. Grenade, I'll, I'll put on F. Hopefully I can do that. Oh, the super is F normally, but you don't use the super that often, so maybe I'll put that to one of my mouse buttons. And then put melee to my other mouse button. Oh wait, it says block. Oh, so block and melee are set like the same. Wait, toggle zoom? What the hell is that? I don't know. Whatever. It's not aim down sight, so I don't care. Oh, maybe it's for sniper rifles with two zooming with zoom in modes or something. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Elevator oh, take 40, us to the top of 40 the frames, baby. I got 60 oh. again. Isn't isn't your uh, laptop kind of newer or? No. Uh, it's about. They're going to put two up a fight for whatever they can get their grubby clothes Huh. On. I mean, it wasn't top of the line two years ago. I spent about 1500 bucks on it two years ago. It was okay. It's pretty good. But obviously, being a laptop, it's somewhat yeah. limited, and I can't really do much to upgrade it. Coming out with a belligerent ass fucking toddler. You know, regret absolutely. <laughs> Oh, you know what? The the mouse wheel is also for switching weapons too, so I guess that helps. Yeah. I'd still rather it be Q, just because you have to hold it for the um, what's it called? For the power weapon. So I mean, unless the oh, okay. So the mouse wheel just switches through them sequentially. To know? Yeah. I don't know how it's like how much it is in. Or similar to other uh, first-person shooters on PC, but most really games do weird. have it that way. The mouse wheel is uh, 
uh, switching weapons. But grenade really is definitely grenade. not normally uh, Q. That is definitely not normal at all. Fall. Oh no, I made it. Jank still alive. I don't know. I think I like controller better still. Mouse and key, the, it doesn't seem like an advantage in this game. Maybe I'm just not Maybe. used to it. Maybe if you're used to it, but. I'm not. Yeah. I'm, sure you, I, I'm sure you're like me, as someone who usually plays with a controller, this just doesn't feel right at all. Natural. Yeah, like even like on PC, I almost always just hook up a controller and play that way instead. I would if I could, but the one PC game I still play doesn't really want that happen. I could, I guess, if I really wanted it to, but it's too much work to figure it out. Yeah, I don't know if Destiny supports the DualShock 4 natively but that's why I have uh, input mapper I just plugged uh, yeah I just plugged mine in with the USB oops locked into one of those What? I didn't hit that. We found an elevator. You're good. Almost as good as Lewis. Oh, I remember this part where we're about to get attacked. Oh, there's a oh. servitor. I'm just gonna hide up in the corner and wait for them to come to me. I know I'm wrong. Damn it, he dodged my damn. Yeah, another reason I like to count right because there's much less drop off of damage from a oh, distance. Oh shit. True that, yeah. I got a respawn timer. Ten seconds left, so. I didn't get much of a warning that time. Servitor just randomly marked me. you just killed or the one that's up there that's still alive <laughs> I guess the one that's still alive I think I'm switching a controller. It's just feeling too weird playing mouse and keyboard.
did it. Linda's servitor brought the power back on. Good job. Maybe I'll finally get my booster one of these days. Yeah, see, in these, like, missions, like, the frame rate is definitely better. Oh, there's another... One of those things. Doesn't matter. This is the dancing elevator now. They're shooting at us. I prefer the God of War elevator where the big dragon attacks us. And then Atreus afterwards asks, can you kill something that big? Little does he know. Thanks for the help. You're not so bad for a fancy pants guardian. Now that's the nicest thing I've ever heard Soraya say. Another God of War where Kratos actually tells Atreus what he's killed. Well, I think that'll be, like, a cool part of the second one. I don't think he'll, like, just tell him all at once. I think it'll be interesting, like, to hear him, like, tell him maybe one by one so we can just see Atreus' reaction and just be like, What? You killed, like, uh, what was it, like, four titans? <laughs> and everything else he killed, like, yeah. I don't think he would know what a titan is, but... You made it. Oh, that's true. Well, but it would like still, like... Me money. Yeah, no, you, you could, right. they could still do something cool like that. This works. Well, what was it, the, the... Frost giant that you... That was dead, that was brought back? Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. Like by Freya. That you briefly fought. It would save us both a lot yep. of time. Uh, I guess the Titans are kind of similar in size, even bigger though. Bigger than him, yeah. They might not be bigger than Yorman Gandar though. That thing is gigantic. <laughs> the World Serpent, no. That might be the only thing bigger in Norse mythology than the Titans. Uh-oh. Audio. There we go. There it is. It's like normally there's some ambience some sounds in the menu even before the ship shows up, but not in this one, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, alright, where... Is it bringing us back to the city, or... Yeah, okay. Alright, should we do another mission? Main mission, or...? Oh, I don't see any. Oh, you have to go somewhere else to f do the next one, I think. Or maybe not. Hope on Titan. Oh, okay, yeah, it is on Titan. That's cool. Well, we could do Titan. Even though I dislike... Titan the most. I, I like it. I think it's okay, but I like that other planet the best. The one with, like, all the red and the green and shit. 
that's yeah, kind of like the, it's kind of like the Venus of uh, Destiny 2. The only thing I don't really well, the problem I have with Titan is the problem I have with the Moon and Destiny 1. I just don't like the Hive. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, they're okay as enemies, and I can see where they come from, but the weird like. Hawthorne already believes Zavala abandoned her and the Bang, survivors. their ships look like now that we're leaving, coffins if we and stay, yes, we can help them survive. They thrive but underground in the Zavala complete really darkness. Yeah, yeah that's the true. And the swarming and the city. Um, thralls that annoy me. Yeah, the thralls are kind of annoying. It like they definitely make you wish you had a fast reloading gun. That's for sure. Vanguard fleet, guardian ship seven two. It's like three, I wish this game had sleight of hand pro. I wish every shooter had sleight of hand pro. Just being able to shoot nonstop is just uh, it's so much better. I mean, you kind of can in Doom, right? Do you just have to switch guns when you run out of ammo? Although really, you wanna in Doom, you really wanna switch weapons often anyway, so Commander, we're here to doesn't help. matter. No, we've already lost too many lightless guardians to the hive. We can't secure this moon. We have our light back. What? Impossible. Commander, if I may, Guardian, this is Deputy Commander Sloan. We have a counteroffensive to plan. To do that, we need to get this station up and running. There's a fleet to prep, guardians to arm, and a trove of intercepted Red Legion transmissions to decrypt. It's critical we gain access to the station's... Maybe I'll have to get you a... Uh, That's where you come in. If the light code is with you, for Dest... I mean, for Doom on PC. So we can do some co-op shit. Although I still gotta make that level. I want to, like, cause I, I had it so much when I was doing it for the trophy. It's like I had so much fun, like setting up all the music and all like the ambushes and stuff. It was, it was, was a lot place? of fun. And then I go to save it, and it gets corrupted, and I lose all of it, but lost all of it. But yeah, no, like I think you'll be impressed with it on PC, just cause it really looks a lot better than the console version. And it's like the console version isn't even bad. It's just like the PC version just looks so good. Oh, I missed. I don't know why. <laughs> I fell. But yeah, no, I mean, your PC should run that, I think. Might drop a little. But like, because uh, this game doesn't run anywhere near as good as Doom. Doom actually runs extremely well. Especially if you set the the API to Vulcan, because that will kind of make up for any CPU problems you have, because it uses more of the GPU. Well, at least in my case, it might not actually help on your side. I don't know what you got for a CPU and graphics card, but... I couldn't tell you. Yeah. I don't really remember. Yeah, because at least in my case, like, I'm, uh, CPU bound big time. Really? But, so I definitely like that this one is way more uh, okay, story so focused than the first something. one. Copy that. Keep pushing forward. Commander, at this rate, we can start planning our counteroffensive. Absolutely. We'll be outside the city gates I mean, and there's the way time. more quality content in just the base game, too. The first one really wasn't too bad. It was boring at 
first. On day one, I thought I thought it was because I played it mostly when it first came out, and I thought it was pretty bad. I didn't mind it. I enjoyed it for what it was. I wasn't expecting a super great story, but the story that well, was it there was definitely practically didn't even have a story. But it was not even just that. Like just also the the presentation and the missions I thought were just a pretty big step behind this, but especially like the side missions too. Like this actually has some pretty cool side missions and the strikes are pretty cool and stuff. Um, and so it's like, it's a huge improvement. This is what I think Destiny 1 should have been. Yeah, comparing Destiny 1 story to this up at the game was just night and day. I mean, I got this when it first came out and I was, you know, I was harping on how much the story was it wasn't amazing, Better. but it was really good. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Yeah. It's very cool. Even. Oh my god, these thralls. Get away from me! Yeah, the thralls are kind of annoying, huh? <laughs> Especially when you don't really know what you're doing on a keyboard and pressing the wrong buttons. Yeah, I, I switched back to the controller. I could plug one in, but I'm too lazy. I'm going with a more authentic experience, even if it's demonstrably worse. I feel like it's it's almost kind of more authentic to play it with the controller because uh, Bungie was always uh, more of a console developer. I mean, they started out as PC, but you know what I mean. Like Halo is really what this is most comparable to, and um, that definitely a gamepad game. Oh fuck! <laughs> fuck me in the ass. It's funny you say That's that. That's what she said. When you say that I've actually played Halo the most on PC. Really? I I did at one point too. I have to admit, because I actually I played the first one at least on PC twice, actually. But I could have played Halo 2 on PC as well. But I actually decided to just play the original Xbox um, original, not one version. The real Xbox One. Not the shitty all-in-one entertainment system. Whatever they want to call it. Whatever they called it in Xbox it. One. Because even though the PC version had, like, much higher resolution, for some reason it, like, it looked more dated that way, actually. Like, oddly enough. So I ended up playing the Xbox original version. On 360. I just didn't have the original Xbox. Do you know what? I actually played. What's it called? Um, the PC version of Halo One twice, I think. But then I played the anniversary of version of Halo One There's once on center. 360. That one I liked a lot. Like. Although, like, I heard some people didn't like it or whatever. I thought it was great. It just looked so much better. It played better than the original versions. Like, I really liked it. Obviously, it's not as good as the Master Chief one, but... Hopefully, someday I get to play that. I think the Master Chief collection is kind of decent. Not that I've heard, because that's actually kind of big news to me, so... I hope so. Could be crazy, I thought I heard that. It would be kinda epic.
Oh slowly. shit, a green. Perfect. Recon the perimeter what? before you move Oh, on one the of the center. orb things. Oh, yeah. There's no friendly fire in this game. So it looks like we're standing in some kind of high breeding ground. Take it out. Oh crap. They're all over me. I don't know what this special ability I have does when you hold circle button. I don't know what that is. It's a healing circle. Oh! That's actually pretty useful. I'll yeah, have to use that just, more. You can sit in and take it to the face for a minute. Like a champ. That's what she said. She doesn't just say she'll do it. Oh so wait, like but it's over. it's no not November. What? Yeah, you haven't heard about that? It's some stupid like I don't know, social media or I don't know what it is. But like people first it was uh sober October, now it's no not November. Seems kind of dumb to me. I mean, the the October one too. It's like I don't shouldn't really need to celebrate that. It's like just don't go to don't go out. <laughs> then you'll have no reason to drink. I never do. We cleared the nest. Heading to the control center now. My idea of a good well Saturday done. night is staying Sweep up, drinking some coffee, playing video games. <laughs> Also, I'm cheap as shit and I don't want to spend money on a babysitter. Oh uh, yeah, cheap that. What the fuck was that? Great. Well, like an explosive one? No, like a regular one. You just got stuck in it. With oh. Physics. Oh, okay. That could be it, because it was weird. That's weird. I do like the changes they made to the game, though, with Forsaken. Oh, I'm unaware of most of them. I'll have to check them out when I get it, but... Well, first oh. of all, there's no more What's up, green Brandon? ammo. Yeah, Brendan's actually who I, I played a lot of Destiny 1 with. Like, he was, uh... We got it, we both got it, like, when it first came out, and... He stayed with it a little longer than I did, but I was, like... Yeah, pretty unhappy with it after I finished the story and just stopped. Got sick of the grind. Um, that's why he was pretty surprised when he saw me streaming Destiny 2 the first time on PS4. <laughs> oh yeah, Destiny 2 story is actually good, really good. Oh, it's way better. And I did only pay seven bucks for it, so it's not like I can could have complained, you know? I really can't come. Didn't have much to complain about, uh... And it being free on PC, the, yeah. yeah. I think I also spent like 80 bucks on the special edition for it. Yeah. I'm not really upset about that one. Did that come with Forsaken or? No, that came with all the, the Warmind and the Osiris DLC though. Oh. Yeah, I, th I thought about getting uh, Forsaken because of that promo I told you about, 15 bucks. Because I got Red Dead. But, um. Yeah, no, I ended up getting Spyro. Then I'm gonna use that $15 promo to get Astrobot. Which is probably another one of the very few um, VR games you would probably like. Because it's a platformer and it's supposed to be amazing. I've heard good things, yeah. Yeah. 
I heard a lot of people compare it to Super Mario 64 and shit. Oh, so I just jumped off the edge. Oh no. I guess it didn't fall to my death, but I'm now I'm like, wait, I'm gonna have to climb back up. All right, I'm almost up there. Uh oh. <laughs> As I'm about to get killed. <laughs> Got you. Oh shit. Where'd he go? You kill him? Yep. Alright. Yep. Okay. Slow, Commander? It's done. Oh, green one. Copy that. Zabala and I are inbound. Oh no, I'm not even close to beating Red Dead yet. It's, I mean, it's a super long game also. It's like I haven't played a ton of it. Like I've been uh, switching back and forth between stuff. For me, honestly, it's going to be controversial. Probably going to play like it later. Assassin's... For me, honestly, I think I like Assassin's Creed Odyssey more so far. <laughs> We're approaching the landing platform. Yeah. So I guess it's not me that's not like blown away by Red Dead then, at least. I'm sure the story will get better, but I mean, it, it's... Say what you will about Assassin's Creed, once you go from that kind of fluid movement to... <sighs> yeah, I never even saw that as fluid, like, but... It's definitely more than uh, Red Dead. Like even, it's like faster, I always used to make fun better. of Red Dead One, how the horseback riding, and that is worse than it is in Assassin's Creed Two, but they fixed that with uh, uh, Two. Like the horseback riding is way better now. Just traversal and moving around. It's more cinematic and enjoyable to look at in Red Dead, but it's just faster. And yeah. Assassin's Creed. I mean. Like, indoors, I actually switch to first person a lot because if you're trying to go pick up stuff, it's actually way easier to do in first person because in third person you have to, like, you move around and it doesn't stop when you stop like it does in first person, you know what I mean? Like, because the animation has to go through, like, sometimes you'll try to just move a little bit to turn and face something and it'll go a little bit too far so you won't be facing the thing you're trying to pick up. Um, but you can get around that by using first person, but so I think that's like All right, we're not out of this yet. an example of what center, You know just being a little bit clunky to me. Maybe it's mainly Commander just the Zavala shooting I have an issue with being because I didn't want to use free mode um, I'm probably gonna end up caving in and just switching get back to lock on cheat out. mode just because It did like it, it hasn't been difficult so far but I think it will at some point, and then that's when I'm gonna really get frustrated with the controls and want to just use the PS2 lock-on aiming. Not to mention the fact that occasionally you're you're in a firefight and you don't know what's going on. People are shooting at you, but you don't quite every know direction. Where they, yeah, where they're coming from, they're you know in some trees, and they're just they're getting you. They're just you know shooting the shit out of you and you have no idea where it's coming from and that's that, that's pretty frustrating mm -hmm. the, the auto lock on just kind of gets you to even see where the fuck they're coming from is helpful yeah that's yeah that's definitely a big part of it or stuff during the night time when you can't necessarily see things super well especially <laughs> not from a distance Especially if you have HDR enabled, which is another problem with the game is they not only is the HDR fake, but it actually a lot of people think it looks worse. Like it's not a full HDR, it's only 8-bit. It's, ba it's basically standard definition, like I don't know why they're calling it HDR because I saw some comparison images 
um, with like it turned the whole screen into a heat map so you can see what goes beyond standard definition and what is standard like it would be gray if it was standard it would be like shades of orange yellow and red if it was above and none of Red Dead Redemption 2 is above standard definition basically it's got the yeah. same uh, 500 lumens I think it is or something like that the, um, is the brightness of it and that's well below HDR standard I'm still on mission <laughs> oh yeah like, I, I still, like, think it's arguable whether or not it looks better off, because it does make the colors look a lot better with HDR on, but it does look a little bit cl more clear, and the lighting looks maybe a little more realistic with it off, so that's why I turned it off. But it's not, like, the huge difference like some people were claiming. I mean, really, another thing is the input lag. There's definitely a lot... Which is another reason why the f the free aiming doesn't work too well, beyond just like the actual controller settings not being the best either. Like I tweaked them and they definitely feel a hell of a lot better, but it's still not ideal. Like, yeah, it's because it's, uh, it's like I understand they want to go for a more grounded feel, more realistic, where you're not just like popping off although then at the same time they'll let you have dead eye so it's kind of contradictory but it's like if you c compare it to the last of us which is definitely you know a more grounded shooter it feels just so much worse like the last of us feels extremely well it's like it doesn't feel like uncharted where it's very easy to just aim and shoot it doesn't feel like call of duty but at the same time it feels very good very smooth and like, us since we so I don't know. Earth. I have trouble excusing the the shooting of Red Dead, but everything else is like amazing in the game. Like I think it's one of the coolest game worlds, just because there's so much random events that can happen and it's so dynamic. That I really like that bit of it. And the graphics are pretty good too, so that's that helps. It's like a much more inviting world visually than the first one. Well, the first one was Texas and Mexico, and a little bit of yeah. the really Great Plains, and here you have some of that, and you have Oh no! Some, some of one of those bayou. weapon orbs just fell off the bridge. I didn't know that could even happen. Yep, it's important to tell it to you. Yeah, the bi the fact that the bio is there is pretty cool because as soon as I rode my horse into it, and I was like, wait a second, this is starting to look like Louisiana. I could tell just by the type of trees, just from playing Mafia 3. So yeah, it is a different location. Um, we also have the, the Rockies slash Grizzlies. You know my ship took a beating during the evacuation. Cold, snowy mountains region. I'll bump you to the front of the line for repairs once the lights are back on. Yeah, it's, Assassin's Creed must look great in HDR. Well, you do. I've come across some beautiful locations in that game. Yeah, they definitely do graphics well, that's for sure. Even uh, Unity looks pretty excellent. Like, it's got really good lighting for an uh, open world game. Unity is still uh, a city. I mean, imagine Mediterranean islands with flowers everywhere and trees and rolling hills. And yeah, it's probably really awesome, nice. yeah. But I heard that it has a similar problem to uh, Red Dead where there's just too much content. We can see the wave energy converters from here. Which is, you know, Put something I'm not a fan of when games do that. Yeah. Odyssey systems does have moving, a, but we're still in the dark. a ton of content, yeah. And it's all something went wrong. connected and kind of complicated Sorry, and it flows pal. together in weird Should ways. We have to go out there. Like, Break a you have the main story that you go through and then you have a ton of... <laughs> fun and interesting and some boring side quests that you deal with as well. Um, 
but most of them are pretty good, surprisingly. You have stuff like... Oh, you're killing me with these slow grenades. <laughs> Yeah, you I just ran like a... past them instead of shooting them. You also have a nemesis type of system from uh, Shadows of Mordor, where you're a mercenary and you kind of work your way up the ladder of mercenaries. And that's interesting. And they have like a wanted system, like in Grand Theft Auto, where if you go around killing or doing shit that you're not supposed to be doing, then other bounty hunters will try to come after you and try to kill you. Um, it's before the Templar assassin, you know, feud, but they're still the precursor to the Templars that you are killing, and there's this whole interconnected web of them that you're trying to take out as part of, like, a side main mission. Huh. So it's, like, not even really an Assassin's Creed game. No, it's more like The Witcher than Assassin's Creed 2 by, uh... Of you know, wide margin. I mean, assassinations aren't even one hit kills all the time, which is weird. Hmm. Yeah, the the Witcher has too much content too, but it like it makes it pretty clear like. Like, what is what, like, just by naming, like, you know, side quests and, or, like, uh, Witcher contracts and shit like that, but, like, it, it can be a problem at times, because it's like, you want it, the, the side quests, like, oh, shit, um, look like main quests a lot of the times. Some of them are, yeah. Like... And that's when I was getting confused. Like, in Novigrad, I was getting annoyed with it. Just because it was just so much. And I was like, man, I, like, I'm not even progressing at all. Um, but then once you get past that, it becomes a lot more fun, I think. Like, when you get to the uh, Skellig, Skelliga Isles, or whatever they're called, um, then it starts being a lot of fun. Uh-oh, I'm falling to my death. And then even after Skellig, I got to the part where you finally go back to Kaer Morn and um, they, you know, tell you about, like, you might, you know, defending the castle against the, uh, the wild hunt. So I'm, like, in the, um, now I have to go, like, gather all my friends, basically, and get them to help me fight the wild hunt. So I'm at that part. Is that close to, oh, wait, you haven't finished The Witcher 3, have you? Oh shit! I played it for like eighty hours and. Am I so am I past where you are in the story? Uh, a little bit. I'm at Caremore. Oh, okay. Well, no, I'm. I just finished the Caremore part of it. I'm not like actually. The only person I've visited so far was uh, the Emperor or whatever. So I'm not much farther. I'm about the same spot, I guess. So yeah, no, I was just wondering if, like, once you do that fight, is it the end? <laughs> you know? Probably pretty close to it, yeah. It That's what like I was it, thinking, yeah. Feels like a natural climax. Definitely. Should be a lot of fun. I still don't think it's game of the year, the 2015, or game of the generation but it is an awesome game I do I do like it a lot more than I did at first game of the generation is I'd go with that before a lot of the other choices definitely last of us is also up there last of us is last generation did you hear that Whoa! Yep. What? The hell, man? They got his boat. Exploding both. thralls. They were like sneaky ones, though. Like they usually don't they just do that. You're gonna oh, oh, okay. Now I see him. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I saw him spawn this time. Yeah, and I did it by myself. I don't remember dying this much. <laughs> I mean, they definitely up the difficulty when you're playing with uh, partners or whatever, but even still. Yeah, I've, I've been playing Breath of the Wild still, too, on Master Mode, and I played, uh... I'm doing the Champion's Ballad, and I had to fight Thunderblight Ganon. Dude, I had such a hard time with it. Like, I kept dying. I mean, part of it was my fault. Like, I kept going in with, like, not without my, uh... abilities or whatever replenished. Like, I only had one Urbosa's Fury and one Daruk's Protection, like... If I had just waited, it would have been a lot easier. Because even that one, Arbosa's Fury, made like a huge difference in the fight. But you know how it is on Master Mode. It's like you get the two weapons that they start you with and no bow. And like they keep refilling health. And like also that in that fight, he gets his electrified shield and sword. So when he has the shield, you can't even hit him at all. You just kind of have to wait for him to not be electrified. And... Yeah, it took me a couple tries. I was raging for a little while, but then when I finally got him, and got him pretty easily, actually, I just got lucky on the last try, and uh, it was a pretty satisfying win. Almost like a Dark Souls type thing, which I've also been playing. And I still suck at, although I did learn something pretty important about that. Uh, the armor stuff. Like, if you have armor that's too heavy, the rolls are basically useless. The fat roll, they call it. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I didn't know that at first, which is why I kept losing to the second boss, which you really need to be able to roll to beat. Um, and so once I figured that out, I beat them kind of easily. But yeah, it's still a lot of fun. Really good on the Switch. I just still am pretty bad at it. I've always been bad at those games. I have been too, but I still managed to beat Neo. I don't know how. That, to me, seems way more difficult than in any Dark Souls. They're about the same, honestly. Oh uh, yeah, I'd have to s try to believe it, because that, that friggin' demo, man. That the shit demo. was so tough. Demo was kind of a damn it shit representation. Stop fucking giving me pulse rifles! It keeps giving me pulse rifles over and over again. Getting sick of it. Like I've got four in a row, and I'm still using the the beginning auto rifle because of how much I didn't want don't want those pulse rifles. It's like it's <laughs> the game is not taking a hint. Apparently, or at least I got a new. Uh, Secondary auto rifle. Is so that's good. There still no trade. There's never. Oh, I got trading. a sword. Oh, I don't know actually. Oh, I got a bunch of like way better armor. Control center still dark, so it's got to be more than a piston problem. Haven't uh, enabled have it yet. Get in, butts with the circuit breakers. Oh, there's. Try a... the central platform. Everything routes through there. All right, where'd you go? Down? I think so. Uh-oh. Oh, over there, you, you crossed that big-ass bridge, right? Yep. With all the gas. Oh, it says joining allies in two, one, zero. So it's gonna... Give me the noob teleport. But yeah, even in this like open area, I've definitely had much better um, frame rate. It's still not like a perfect 60, but it's very pretty close. It's like 50 about. Oh, 
because we're not around other people. Yeah, it's it's other people, but also like other enemies, like because in those open areas, there's like enemies in every direction, pretty much, plus the other players. Um, so yeah, it does get like a definitely is more demanding on the CPU, and my CPU is trash, so it's a problem for me. Yeah, powered back. Exemplary work, everyone. But you, your PC might your just be like both. It might be the GPU and CPU that's holding instead of just one of them. Plus, there's probably a setting that I enabled a long time ago to make it a little easier on the battery versus all out. Oh, that could Gaming. 100. That would have a big effect on it. Yeah. Although you can make it so that stuff like that only affects it when it's not plugged in. So when it's plugged in, you can get the max performance. I mean, I could tell you how to do it. It's usually a couple easy shortcuts. No, the, I have it... I don't mind too much if it's always on the lower end, because sometimes I have to unplug it. For a while, for the power, I'd leave it up plugged for hours at a time, and booting it up can be obnoxious sometimes. Oh, I can tell you how, how to do it. It's, um, if you hit the Windows key and X, um, then click Power Options, then over on the right, it'll say Additional Power Settings, and then you'll have a couple power plans you can choose from. You can choose high performance, and that way you know you'll get the best out of your uh, laptop. Uh, because I have I have M an MSI laptop, and through it I have an MSI program specifically dealing with that sort of thing. Oh. Okay. Shit. Yeah, I can do that right. device sitting it's a hell of a view isn't it we're up and running thanks to you yeah, said it there's plenty more to do around here instead though. of Keep sport among them finally breaking that ground on a counter oh that's funny the red legion i have a plan man these are some cool looking uh we intercepted a priority one pieces of equipment during the city evacuation but we can't oh that looks so awesome i know i took the chess piece on my uh on titan which is effectively and I tried to hold on to it for as long as I could until it became uh, too weak. For centuries. All we know for sure is the hive is raising hell down there. Perhaps literally. It looks really cool. Let's put the oh wait, actually, I don't think I took the chess piece. I think I took the gauntlets. That's right. Yeah, I had these crazy red. Uh, these, yeah, these gauntlets look pretty cool too. I wish I could have all three. Shit. The helmet looks so awesome too. It's got like a smoky. Oh wait, you're a warlock too, so you can probably see the same one. Yep. Dude, that helmet is awesome. Look at that. I want the whole damn outfit. It would look so cool. But yeah, no, they have extra bonuses. Wait, it says bow targeting? I thought only the uh, hunter had the bow. Wait, this one also says something about bow aim. And this one's fusion rifle loader. Not sure. So for the gauntlets, it says uh, solar grenades burn longer, melee kills restore them. Wait, what? It says Dawn Blade holds you in midair when you're aiming. And then it says something about scout rifle reserves. Oh, the amount of scout rifle ammo. Yeah, this has a bunch of stuff about the bow. Oh, and it has increased mobility. Or increased health well. recovery. Man, this is some good shit. I wish I could have all three. Oh, they all have that increased mobility thing. Man, that sucks, because I, I, I kind of like the helmet 
the way it looks the most, but the abilities it gives you the least. All you have to do is level another warlock. Oh, they each warlock. have uh, different mobility stats. So maybe I will go with the chest piece because I like that being able to aim in midair. What were you saying? Like make another? Well, then I would only have one of each, though. Like I this I want to see if there's a way to get all three. <clears throat> well, just make another warlock and level it, and then put it in your bank. And oh, you can go get character. it with another character. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Your bank is. Account based, not character based. I wonder if there's a way to buy these FD. Because I can take, like, the one as a gift. I don't know if there's a way to buy them. Oh, no, it doesn't look like it. At least not from her. So maybe you're right. Like, maybe that's the only way to get all three. That sucks. Because I want the matching outfit, damn it. Especially that helmet seems really cool. Oh, this guy's wearing it. He's wearing the the chest piece. Oh, yeah, you got it. That's you. <laughs> you got the yeah, chest piece. Guy. I thought you were still, like, looking at the stuff, but... Yeah, I got the same one. I want to see what this aiming thing is like. Yeah, it just makes you hover a lot slower. I like that. That's actually really cool. It's like when you run out of ammo, that's when you drop. I still I like that ability, it's really cool. Fuck, I wish I could get the other ones. Do you remember what the names of those things were? <laughs> I wanna like Google how to get them. But did we finish our mission? I think so, right? Yep. Now we're back out in the open world. Alright. Well, I don't know, you want to end it? Uh, sure. I mean, realistically, we could do this as often as we wanted. Yeah. We will not be playing PC Destiny a whole lot, so... I mean, yeah, maybe we like, probably won't do the whole game, but we, we could do like another one. And then like next time play a little bit of Crucible. That could that be cool. That would be interesting. Probably get smoked by PC players who are more used to it. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I hope, um, what do you talk, how can my controller be having latency issues when I have it wired? Master Race. Yeah, pretty much. What the fuck, dog? What kind of nonsense is that? What? Yo, I can't do any damage to that. Oh, he's got the question marks around his head. That's why. All right, but yeah, I know. I'll just quit out of here. Exit to, or I could just go to orbit for now. Oh yeah, there's the other one. Nah, I'll just exit the desktop, screw it. Uh, yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, definitely. Definitely feels weird. On a PC. It plays worse and handles worse. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe if we had, like, a better, 
better PCs, it would be a little better, but at least on mine, it yeah, it's not perfect. It does feel smoother most of the time, because most of the time I am able to hit 60. So that is a plus. Um, but when I am trying to hit 60, it definitely doesn't look better than it does on PS4 Pro, especially. It looks pretty amazing on Pro, at least, and, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. With my PC, it's definitely not Master Race for this game, that's for sure. Well, with mine, absolutely not either. Yeah. Okay, I was getting first. Worst, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Worst performance, yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I was getting... I mean, during story missions and indoors, I was getting... Better. Up to 40 frames, but when we got to the outdoor areas, it dropped to like 15 to 20 frames. Oh, shit. Jeez. Yeah, if it's yeah. that low, I would say um, you should, you're you better off putting it at 30. Because it does have the two options. You don't have to lock it to 60. You can actually lock it to 30 in this game, which is oddly kind of rare in PC games. You could force it with the NVIDIA control panel, but yeah, that's probably more effort than you normally would put in. If it takes, yeah, that's way too much effort. <laughs> yeah. Especially since, especially since I don't even have to put in a disc to play it on PS4 anymore since it came out for you for PlayStation Plus. Yeah, true that. All I gotta do is click over to it and play it and it plays 30 frames locked without any kind of lag or bullshit and I can use a controller instead of mouse and keyboard. And it's like... too lazy to set it up on my computer. Yeah, true. Not that it requires too much setting up. All I guess I really have to do is plug in my Xbox controller, but... Yeah, yeah if you use an that. Xbox controller, that's all you gotta do. But, but it's um, all the way over there, and that's that's too much work. <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather do that than um, use keyboard and mouse. It's just uh, I've like keyboard and mouse is super uncomfortable to me. But yeah, like even if you do put it awkward. at thirty FPS with the Nvidia control panel, it doesn't even tell you thirty. It says adaptive half refresh rate. So it, unless you know what that that actually means, you, like no one yep. is really gonna know what to do. That's typical of PC, though. It's like they don't do anything intuitively. It's all just fucking random shit. But no, Destiny 2 does actually have a 30 FPS mode in it, so I would highly recommend using it since you're not, you're barely getting over 30. So it's just a pause button away. So it's a lot better. So like a lot of games, I can choose between doing 30 FPS and like 4K or doing uh, 60 and like 1080p or whatever. Mm. And I want with the 1080p this time, but yeah, that's because the 4K was actually kind of choppy for some reason. But anyways, I'm going to end the stream, um, what's it called, I'll probably play some more Red Dead in a little while, but for now, I'm going to go, but I'll see you guys later, thanks for watching, peace out Brandon, and Christine if you're still here, I don't think so though.